tal? Ah, no, ¿Todo bien? ¿Todo bien? So guys, in the video of today, we are going to be answering some of the doubts that you have about our first meeting. Just in case you don't know, I went to Brazil for 20 days. And we stayed there, how many people were asking questions, like how it was and everything. So in the video of today, we are going to be answering the most typical questions that people ask. But we don't go answer normal, you know, with me here and here there. We go stop the cow and we go answer the questions in the darkness. I don't go know your answers and he don't go know mine. So let's go there. Let's go. What was the first impression? Uh, the first impression of the Thomas how you can see in the video, I was super, super nervous because we talked a lot like, oh my gosh, when I see you, I'm gonna run to you, I'm gonna jump on you. In the case, he because of the that he died. When I left from the door at the airport and I look at him, like I look around and I saw him and the first thought that came to my mind was like oh my gosh is he really mine? When I see the door open he's coming and I was like oh my god he's here I don't know I was super shocked like he, you know you have a relationship with somebody of you didn't meet you physically and then that person are in your front you know and like I don't know I walked to him and like it was like five seconds or even less, and it was like a million years serious. And then I hug him and everything. <laughs> then when I hug him, he felt super good, super nice. Like I had that feeling that I felt like home. I can wait for him to come here so we can hug again. Was he what you expect? Actually, uh, yes and no, because I thought that he was going to be taller. Like, I mean, He's taller than me, but I thought that he was going to be way taller. For be honest, I think he was a bit more uh, shorty. I forgot how to say uh, shorty. Like, but he's more or less my 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 tall. So like, he, I was a bit surprised. He, he was always saying like, oh my gosh, I'm super tall. Oh my gosh, I'm this. Oh my gosh, I'm the other. So I thought uh, that he was actually going to be taller, but more or less he's like this. I don't know, more or less. He's perfect. He's exactly how I see him and how I imagined him. Beautiful. How was your first day together? Our first day together. Oh, oh my god, I give everything for being that day again. Like when we meet each other the first time and we was together back in holding hand for the car and everything like I know he was here in my side with me. Like it was wonderful. Maybe you don't know, but when I left from the plane, I mean, when I, when I was in the plane, almost uh, landing, I threw up because I was feeling super sick. It was many hours in a plane, so I was feeling super sick and I threw up. And then when I left from the plane, like I was going to to get my, my luggage, I vomited again. It was a, a mix of feeling and I was super happy and then we arrived home, my brother, my sister, like everyone that was here waiting and then my cousins come and like he, you see my family with him together like oh my gosh I always wanted this like he and my family and me together His mom bought some typical Brazilian food for me and I couldn't eat it because I wasn't feeling nice I just wanted to sleep, I wanted to be with him, I wanted to take a shower My mom bought some food for him but because of the change of the times and everything and like, like he was not feeling good so he didn't eat nothing so my mom was like oh my gosh you have to eat and everything Yeah I have a good memory, I have good memories, I have a good feeling and everything was perfect that day And then we stayed together in the bed like oh you are here, you are here, you are here like it was the best moment I want it back, I want it back, I want it back. But yeah, it was a perfect day. Like all the 21 days we passed it together. How was going out together? Okay, in this sense, I was a bit scared because my mom uh, uh, missed drama. She scared me, she was like, oh my gosh, what happens if people don't accept a, a couple of two persons of the same sex? So I was a bit scared because what if people didn't accept it and they said something there or whatever. It was a bit weird because like we know the persons go look and go have the persons go say, 
that the passes go be okay, normal. I don't know why the person could do with us. I really don't know. Why I was a bit afraid, you know? I have to be honest, uh, in the video, when we were at the airport, we were hiding and everything, many people, many, many, many people were looking. If you haven't watched that video, you will have it here in the description and you have to be a uh, you have to pay attention to what we are hugging many people many people are are looking at us i don't know what happened maybe they were expecting maybe they wanted to know if we were brothers if we were cousins i have no idea but that was the only occasion in which i felt a bit of sad. so like we don't have much to say about that because we don't suffer something or not because then we don't pay attention to your life you know don't matter if the person's value looking to us or anything because we don't pay attention on that for being honest I never pay attention when we are walking together because I won't have eyes for him and I won't care about him so we were together we talk and it's that who was saying goodbye what can I say what can I say to be honest, the last two days that I spent there, I mean, the day in which I was living because I left in the after, in the evening, and the previous day I spent them crying, super sad because I was leaving. Like, in some way I miss my family because I am super attached to my family, but I didn't want to leave from there. I felt there perfect, I felt super nice with him, and I felt that some part of me stayed there and that uh, he wasn't going to come back with me and still nowadays I still uh, feel a bit affected like I don't know maybe for you guys this is a bit stupid but for me I'm talking about the love of my life the person that I have uh, I look I mean I, I have been making my plans with so it's hard for me like we spent 20 perfect days, we made our dream come true and living here there was horrible. Then like flying, going back here, facing reality because uh, the day after that I, me, that I arrived in Spain I had to come back to university. So all that made me feel super affected. Um, then coming to reality, doing everything without him like we made everything together we slept together we had breakfast together we ate together we took showers together we brushed our teeth together so doing that without him is super super painful um i don't know if I, when i look at the tattoo that we made i feel him super close but I'm super happy that this is happening to me and even if we have the distance I we can do it, we have to be strong and we have to go through this together and everything will be fine. I hope because I love him so much and I don't want to lose him. Say goodbye was our was hard moment for be honest because like we passed some days together you no know? like and we were super special and then when we are in the way like prepare the bag and everything <laughs> it's hard for me to talk but like or I don't know <laughs> I don't know I don't know how to explain this feeling because it was a part of you leaving for that door and it was horrible and then you back home and see the bed, my bedroom, the house where we spent some day together like the persons could think whatever they want but it was super hard. And then other days and day, I was super afraid, like, oh my gosh, if it was okay, maybe the, if the fight fell, whatever, because I have super afraid of flying, so I was I almost didn't sleep the, the night of food here back home because of all the time all the time I was checking like the 
the application for check if you are fine, you are okay, because they can't talk. So when he arrived in the airport of Portugal and he called me and everything, I was like, okay, no, I can breathe a bit, but the feeling was here, that horrible feeling of if you lost a part of you, you know? So like, <laughs> it was hard, the, the most hard moment was saying goodbye because when you when he arrived he was happy because like we could be together for so some days and then when he had to go back home like it was horrible because in the end the way of you go from my house to airport you go surfer suffering and then you wait you have to do the things waiting and like he suffered because you know sometime he go past from that door <laughs> and then we don't know when we're supposed to go see each other again. I'm still feeling a lot of pain of being far off here, and I can't wait for see here again and we'll be together and spend some days together too. I hope so. <laughs> okay, it's that. This was the video of today, guys. I hope you like the video. And don't think that I don't have feelings. I didn't cry, but because I'm shy, seriously, don't think that I don't have feelings. Please, please. No, I'm leaving. Like, I'm leaving. I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving! Wait, let me talk! Like, I, I am more emotive than he. He, yeah, he hides his feeling, you know, like in the front of the camera and everything. Uh, but I don't know, like, remember this for me was super hard, the, the last question, because, like, it made me remember the day and, like, was not easy for me and for him, you know? But I don't know, he can control more himself and I could. Yeah, it's like more a sense of. Being shy, I'm super shy, so for me crying in front of a camera that I know that people will be watching, for me that is super complicated, so I can't do anything. If you want, if you have any question or if you, have, if you want to ask something, you can leave it here in the comments. You can ask as many things as you want. And uh, hopefully if we have enough questions, we will make a, a question and answer, answering everything that we can, I mean all the questions, because I don't think that we will have many. But yeah guys, thank you for watching. Uh, See you in the next video. Bye! Bye.